And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. Bruce the Dragon! And now it was his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Play the carpenter! We are! You ready to fight? Ready. Let's go. All right, ready to go for round one. And when you've got a cardiovascular skill set like Clay Guida, there's really no reason to pace yourself in round one. He knows he can go a hard 15 minutes if need be. Clay Guida trying to get off to a better start here tonight than he did his last time. Oh, that knee appeared to land, and that, at the very least, is going to give that wrestler something, something to think about now moving forward. Well, wrestlers want to go forward, J.A. They want to get into you and take you down. That knee will relieve some of that forward pressure, and then maybe he can start to get off from a distance and have this wrestler staying back in his range. Oh, heavy kick downstairs. Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Man, they are trading early and often. Here we go. Let's go. This is a good fight. We knew it would. These guys are intent to make it happen. That leg kick hurt. Frantic pace early on to this one. Just out of range with that left hook. Guida gets tagged by that straight punch. Nice land for the offense there. And everything's landing with so much power. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the sidekick, DC. Real nice technique to land that sidekick. He did a great job of getting that leg up right to the target. Just over three minutes to go. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan and it's working. Oh, big knee. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick land. Right back on the leg kicks. Guida's now switching his stance. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now, but he's got to start to protect it. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. See his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. 
All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Body kick lands under the elbow. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. That left hook was crazy. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. Oh, and that punch, and listen to the reaction from the crowd. Oh, what a kick. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Round two is next. All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there is the horn. We have gotten to the end of the round, and after he got buckled with that liver shot, I didn't think we'd get here. No, it did not look like we would get here. It did not seem like he would be able to stand up to that punch, but he did. He lives to fight another day. Let's see what he does with the opportunity. Ready to fight? Ready. Do it. Right. Round two. Way to hide that leg kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Big power shot there. see in this one tonight, but the wrestler willing. Oh, oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. Ooh, blue hook attempt now, and it looks locked in. Oh, I don't know. That heel hook looks tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Queen has got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Beautiful ground and pound. And it looks like he has a cut now. Queen is now looking for a Darce choke. That Darce is tight. Oh, might get the win here by finish. Had the submission in very tight, but as it started to slip, he went right back to the dominant position. Well, his grappling has been on point thus far, and don't think he's gonna slow down. He'll keep up this pace through the whole thing. Especially when he's on top. In the top of the Oh, he's attacking choke now. Oh, he's got that submission tight now. And he's out again. This is some exhausting work. Yeah, hard to try to get the heel hook. Heel hook looks tight. Oh, he got out. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Can't get it. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outcome of the show in that defense. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent as well. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground, he can fight in the stand-up, but he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time, and it is showing in this performance. Hey. It got checked. Defends another takedown here. I'm not sure when frustration sets in for the rest of the fight. You know, letting this one. Well, he thought that he doubled security's takedowns, and you can see him getting frustrated. Attempting a choke now. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. <laughs> Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Oh, my goodness, he might have it. Working hard to finish this heel hook. 
he has got to make sure that his knee does not beat his hips if he wants to get the finish. Oh, how about that? Avoids the submission and pops right back up. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Check that last one. Oh! Lands a big elbow there. Trading huge shots. Let's see. He's gonna be the last man standing. Huh? All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if you're gas tank. Oh! oh! That's it! No! Oh! Oh! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We sent it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, five seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster wants to take their cracks against one of the founding fathers of mixed martial arts. 